Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install data packs in Minecraft 1.15. I know it says uh, 1.13 here, but it's been a while since we've updated our data packs tutorial. So today we are doing it in Minecraft 1.15 and by the time you reach this article here, you will see 1.15 right here as well. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right into this. First thing we do have a much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS Break in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you're looking for a great Minecraft server that you can easily add data packs to and play those with your friends as well, you can check out Apex the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and just jump straight on into this. Now, the first thing you're obviously going to need to do is download a data pack. Now, if you already have a data pack downloaded, that is perfectly fine. You just want to make sure that it is for 1.15. But if you don't have a data pack and you're looking for some Minecraft mods, data packs, things like that, then come to this link here. This is our complete list of Minecraft 1.15 data packs, basically going over all of the data packs that we find interesting and cool for Minecraft 1.15. So some of these aren't updated to 1.15 yet. As soon as I'm done recording this, while it's being edited, I'm going to be going through here and updating these to 1.15. But nevertheless, one that definitely is, is Vanilla Tweaks here. And this is actually our top one because it's really not just one data pack. It is like 30 something, 33 data packs all packed into one here. And that's why it is so important and why it's first on our list here. So nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on Vanilla Tweaks download right here. And that's going to go ahead and take you off to Vanilla Tweaks website here. So as you can see here, all of the basically data packs for Vanilla Tweaks, make sure it's the 115 version selected here. And there's tons of these and there's always more being added. As you can see, it's, uh, you know, was less than 1.13 and then 1.14 and then 1.15, you know, so it, it goes up over time and they'll add more here for 1.15 as well. But uh, it came out like three days ago. So anyway, let's go ahead and download a few of these because they're all going to be installed in the same way. So first and foremost, let's say grab, I don't know, anti-creeper grief. That's pretty cool. Basically, when a creeper blows up, it's not going to blow up any blocks and and the player won't take any damage from that creeper. So you can go ahead and click on that. And it's actually adding them over here into selector. So when you click on these on this website, it's going to do this. It's going to be different downloading them on other websites. So this adds a unique book that allows you to alter the properties of armor stands in survival. I don't know if we'll test that one, but why not? Double, double shulker makes all shulker boxes, makes all shulkers drop two shells. That's pretty cool. And then um, let's see, kill empty boats. That's just a cool thing to prevent lag, to be honest. We can come down here and grab the villager workstation highlights. That's a pretty cool one as well. But I think we'll grab set home. Count mob deaths. That's interesting. That is interesting. We're not going to do that one just yet, though. Um, villager death messages. Why not? And then we'll add in like player graves because that's a really easy one to test. I don't know if we'll test all of these, but they will all install in the same way. So once you've got all these selected, you click on download and it'll go ahead and download them on the bottom left just like that. So now we go ahead and minimize our browser here. On my desktop, I do have vanilla tweaks. Your data pack that you download may be in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left. For you, it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. Just go ahead and click on that little Windows icon in the top and bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in downloads. You'll then have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and then you'll find vanilla tweaks or whatever basically download that you have in here. Drag that to your desktop just for ease of use. I'm actually gonna clear out my downloads folder. There we go. But nevertheless, once your data packs are on your down or on your desktop, you want to make sure that they're correct, right? So if we go ahead and double click on this. It's actually going to open this up, and we'll see all of these different like things, right? All of these different data packs. When you double click on a data pack, it should be a .zip file, right? But when you double click on that .zip file, you should see data and pack.mc meta. And if you do, that is correct. But as you can see, where we downloaded these is a zip. It says unzip me, right? You want to go ahead and take all of these and drag them to your desktop. Now we would go through and check all these individually, right, that we've dragged to our desktop. We will see as soon as we open them up, it's got data, data, data. As you can see, all of these are gonna have data here because these are the correct ones. If you open your data pack and it doesn't say data in there, well then you need to fix that and you need to make sure that it does say data as soon as you open up your data pack. Some data packs will download and actually be a zip file because you need to install a resource pack with them. I'll show you how to do that here as well. So let's go ahead and get these data packs installed. Now the easiest way to do this is to go ahead and open up Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.15 here. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can see latest release 1.15. We're going to open up Minecraft 1.15. It told me it failed to download the file for some reason. That's not true. But nevertheless, it's going to open up Minecraft 1.15 here and you'll see how to install these. Now keep in mind that data packs are per world. 
meaning it's not going to work on every Minecraft world you have unless you install it on every Minecraft world you have, right? Data packs only work per world and per game save that you have. So that is something very, very important that I want to mention here before we get into game. So as Minecraft is loading up onto the main menu here, once we're on the main menu, we can click on single player. That freaks me out every time. I don't know why, but we can click on single player here. As you can see, I do have a 1.15 world here. I can click on that and then we can come down here and click on the edit button. Once you click on the edit button here, you'll have open world folder. See that? Click on open world folder and it's going to open up this. Now this is where you want to install your data packs. Now as I said, data packs are per world. They don't work on every world, only on a per world basis. That's why we went into our saves here and then clicked edit and then clicked on the open world folder because it's only per world. It's not on the entire Minecraft game. So nevertheless, once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the data packs folder here and then just drag and drop your data packs into this folder. It is that easy. Drag and drop any data packs that you have into the data packs folder in the world you want to install them in. Now, what we want to do for resource packs is come all the way back. See up here at the top, you have all this kind of information. You can come all the way back to dot Minecraft and then you'll have a resource packs. Now, for whatever reason, you don't have this at the top. You can also get to this, by the way, I always click save after you install those data packs. You can go into options here and then you can click on resource packs. Then you have the open resource packs folder here. When you click on that, you can install your resource packs here as well. Once you install them, click done, click resource packs and they'll be over here and you can activate them by clicking that little arrow over there and moving them over into the selected resource packs tab. Nevertheless, once you've done that, we can go ahead and click done and we can jump into our data packs world. Again, confirm that this has our data packs world. We can click on open resource pack or open world folder, excuse me, click on open world folder there. And then the data packs folder is here with our data packs installed. So let's go ahead and jump on into this by just double clicking on it. Now, once you get in game, your data packs won't work right away. You'll need to do slash reload in game in order for that to work. So we can do slash reload, hit enter, and it will reload and the data packs will activate. Now, if you do slash the reload and it doesn't work, I'm gonna show you how you can fix that. You only have to do this one time, but basically what you do is you hit escape, come into open to land here, click on allow cheats, and then click on start land world. Then you can do slash reload and it will work. And then when you jump back into your game, everything's gonna be working perfectly fine. You're not gonna have any issues. Just have to do that on the first load up. Now, the first and easiest thing for us to test here is of course player graves. It's kind of morbid, but nevertheless, we can just come up here to the top and do game mode survival, and then we will fall to our deaths. And when we do, there it is. As you can see, the player grave is in there. If we respawn and can find our death location, because uh, I don't really necessarily know where the grave was at. It does tell us in the chat, by the way. We can see where the grave location is at. But I would like to not, you know, I would like to just be able to find it. But nevertheless, that did in fact work there. Uh, I think it's going to be maybe right over here. Maybe not. I, I see. I have absolutely no idea where we died out there. Anyway, if we, if we hit F3, we can kind of figure it out really quick. But nevertheless, so negative 58, so it's gonna be like right here. And then we are 253, 253, so this way. So yeah, somewhere kind of right in this area. Oh, right there it is. We fell to our death. And we can see that, you know, there's the gravestone. We can go ahead and I think break that gravestone with a shovel. I always uh, mess this up because there are a few different gravestone like mods or whatever. Some of them require you to break it with a shovel, some of them don't, it's, it's so weird. So give me a diamond shovel. And we're going to see if we can break this. But um, all of the gravestone mods are a bit different. I think maybe hold shift. I forget, there's a way to break this. You all will have to remind me in the description exactly of what that is. Okay, there we go, that broke it. I had to shift click it and as you can see, we got our bee spawn egg, beehive, and bee nest back which we had before our basically death there. So that one is working. There are some other ones, double shulker as well. If we go into game mode creative real quick, I can showcase the double shulker mod there. So basically all we wanna do is just get a shulker spawn egg and then all these shulkers, can you even spawn them in the overworld? You can. And then when these shulkers die, they should drop, they should in theory drop two shulker, basically shells, two shulker shells. Um, oh, what's you doing? Stop TPing. Don't be doing that to me. I should really get like a diamond sword here probably, but anyway, let's, let's see if we can get a diamond sword. See if we can make that faster. I honestly, it's been, there we go. And as you can see, it did drop two shulker shells there. 
and then we can go ahead and kill this one as well. We'll be a lot faster now that we have a diamond sword. There we go. And that one dropped two shulker cells. See, pretty simple stuff. There's also armor stand customization. So we go ahead and type in armor stand here. Uh, I, I actually don't know how this one works, but it basically uses a book to allow you to customize armor stands more specifically in creative. I don't know how that one works. That's something you would have to Google to, to figure out, to be honest. We also do have anti-creeper lag, or creeper explosions. So if we go ahead and spawn in a few creepers here. Let's go ahead and just spawn in. I don't know if that'll work. This is probably going to kill me, but let's go ahead and do that. Hi, and then they explode. And as you can see, nothing happens. Oh yeah, it actually doesn't hurt the player either. So we can just sit here, boom, no issues whatsoever with creepers. We do have set home, so we should be able to, uh, I might not know how that one works, to be honest. I do know that uh, there is a set home command installed, and then villager death messages. This one could be interesting. It might not work with a spawned in villager, but we'll give it a shot. So let's see, villager here, boom, and boom, and then let's see if we can kill this villager, and see if it tells us that uh, we're killing this villager. Yep, there you go, a villager has died with the villager death messages there. So the only ones we didn't try are the customizable armor stands because I don't know how to do that one. And same thing with the set home. The set home is a little weird to me, to be honest, because I would just assume you could do like slash set home test and it would set the home, but it doesn't seem like that is what it is. So I would need to do a little more research to figure out exactly how to use that one as well. Luckily, with the vanilla tweaks data packs, Exuma Void has videos on his channel on all of that stuff, as well as uh, for other data packs, everything is going to be found on the data packs like resource page, um, the download page is where you're going to find all of that stuff for pretty much all other data packs. However, pretty much all data packs are going to require you to do that slash reload that we did. And they're all going to be installed in the same way, just in that data packs folder per world. So again, one thing I do want to mention is that data packs are per world. So if we close out of that and we jump into, let's say, this just random world here, right? When we jump into this world, if we do um, anything, let's see, like Creeper Grief, right? For example, that's a good one. So if we go ahead and do game mode creative and we spawn in a few creeper eggs here and then I go into survival this will kill me right because it's per world so get that boom as you can see that did work and then if we spawn one more in here boom creepers will kill me and it blew that building all to pieces because again that data pack is just for that specific world it is not for all of the worlds on your minecraft server Come back over into 1.15 here. I say no mods, but now it has mods. But anyway, come back over here to this one. Spawn in a few creepers in game mode survival. And it will work perfectly fine. It will explode and it won't hurt me because again, we have that anti-creeper data pack installed. But yeah, there you go. There you all have it, excuse me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this every single day of the week. We have incredible Minecraft tutorials coming out every single day for 1.15 and soon 1.15.1. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. But nevertheless, enjoy your new data packs or Minecraft mods, whatever you want to call them. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.